I have um, <laughs> loud. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I have this prom makeup tutorial with my best friend Alexia. This is Hi. Claire. Um, it took her a lot to do this with me, but I'm really happy that she did it, so thank you so much. Um, I decided to do a cut crease with pink glitter because I cannot have enough of the pink glitter. And I am doing makeup for prom, so if you're interested, please make sure to DM me on Instagram. I only charge $20. I know it's really cheap, and I think I do a pretty good job, yeah. honestly, I do. I do a pretty good job. <laughs> I try. If you're interested, please DM me on my Instagram, not on my Snapchat or Twitter. Only on my Instagram is the only place I won't answer you. Okay, so if you would like to see how I got this makeup look on my beautiful friend Alexia, please make sure to keep on watching. <laughs> First, we're going to prime the eyes, and I'm using Max Pentelli Paint Pot. I also like to use Max Pentelli Paint Pot with my clients. I think this is the best primer ever, so that's why I keep using it. We're going to set this after, so it's more easier to blend the eyeshadow. Using my Tardis Pro Palette, I'm going to use Innocent, and I'm going to apply this all over the crease. This is going to be our transition color. It's just going to cause that gradient effect and make everything look blended and nice. I'm then going to apply edgy at the outer corner of the crease and I'm going to apply this at a C shape and then I'm going to build it up a little. I am then going to cut the crease with any concealer, you just cut it like my other video. Um, I think this is just really self explanatory so I really don't want to go into detail but after that I'm just going to set it. Even though I'm going to apply glitter over this, I still set the concealer because I don't want it to crease and look all messy. After this, I'm just going to carve out the cut crease to make it all look cut and clean like we like it. I am then going to use my Revlon Photo Ready Glitter Liner and this is in the color Peaches. Peaches, I don't know. I, I still don't have the name with me so it's something with peaches. I'm still going to link it down below. Then I'm going to use this j cat glitter i say y cat glitter at the last video is j cat this is a pink glitter i'm also going to link that at the description box down below for lashes i'm going to use kiss number 11 and these lashes look perfect for almond eye shapes like alexia starting with the face i'm going to prime her face with maybelline's pore minimizer and baby skin and it's really important to always discuss with your clients what's their skin type you don't want to just apply a random foundation on her face so that's why i'm using the milani 3-in-1 foundation this is more for dry skin alexia has dry skin and i love this foundation on her it makes her face look so flawless alexia loves her concealer so i make sure to apply maybelline better skin concealer in ivory and i'm just going to highlight this because the milani foundation does turn out a little bit yellowish so i want to just neutralize the whole face with this i'm just going to blend the concealer with my real techniques beauty blender and this just makes the concealer and the foundation look so perfect always use a beauty blender on your clients it makes that foundation and concealer look so flawless and airbrush i'm gonna make sure to set one side first and i'm just using my laura mercier translucent powder I'm going to use Anastasia's Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm going to start contouring her nose and I'm just using Fawn. To contour her cheekbones and her jawline, I'm just going to use Java. For blush, I'm going to use Milani's Luminosos. And I love applying blush at Alexia's apples of her cheeks because it just looks so good on her. When I apply them at my apples of my cheeks, it doesn't look good. For highlight, I'm going to use my Luminizer. It's still broken, guys. <laughs> I'm going to just highlight the high points of her face, like her cheekbones and her nose. Going back to the eyes, I'm going to apply Innocent and Edgy at the lower lash line. So basically, just do the same thing that you did to crease to the lower lash line. For the lips, I'm going to use Milani Liquid Lipstick in Dreamy or Charmy. I don't know. I'm going to make sure to link it down in the description box. It's actually a Lexus shade, so that's why I don't know. <laughs> No me hace falta que me hagas un chonco chino. Mira, bueno, te vas por allá. Uy, 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 uy. Pero se le brinca en tu cámara. Ok, espera. ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué hago? No, para abajo, pero no. No, cierra los ojos para que. <risa> <risa> Siempre te hace así. Ay, no, 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 no. Ay, 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
sorry guys if my hair looks all crazy. So we're officially done with the makeup tutorial. Thank you again, Alexia, so much. You're welcome. Uh -huh. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you muted me, okay? <laughs> Something you want to say? Ay, no me pongas en la spot. <laughs> She's really shy. Eso no lo vas a poner. Sí. Cut it. <laughs> Watching, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, that's all I have for you guys today. I really don't know what to, else to say. Um, bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, and remember, los quiero mucho, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>